pear-shaped women just like us this week's video is about three easy autumn trends we've chosen to focus on winter brights oversized blazers and big knit energy yep these are really easy to replicate in most people's wardrobes and yeah just really easy to replicate starting with the pinks we have a crop chop cropped <laughs> blazer from river island and we also have a pink top, which needs a little bit of cleavage. Uh, it's from Miss Pat. Yes. We teamed the, uh, the two tops with dark denim, so black jeans. Um, I think May teamed hers up with, May did team hers up with the leather trousers. Yeah. And I teamed mine up with a white crop top and black straight jeans. So with the black straight jeans, um, I think it's quite important as someone pear shaped to quite to you know show off your waist um, just so you don't look too dowdy and quite frumpy. So by having a cropped blazer, especially oversized, like it just kind of gives it an edge. So it's not too much body, yeah. but at the same time a little bit like I got it. You know what I mean? So and then <laughs> we teamed it with trainers just to give oh no, sorry, I teamed it with heels. Teamed it with heels to keep it sexy. Okay, so for me, I like the colour combination, but uh, it wasn't giving what it needed to give because oh, I've been eating. I've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lie to anybody. COVID told me eating. Now, if oh. I was in good shape like I was before, not a problem. It's like 10 years ago now. <laughs> no, it's not 10. Mm. <laughs> not 10 years ago people it's february 2020 so yeah i think if i was you know slim -mer, then <laughs> then i'd like it but no no <laughs> so, and probably what we should have started with is our current outfits yeah so these two tops are from zava and I love them. I love the big sleeves. I love, I'm very much a collar kind of person. Love this. It's a nice little crop top, so you can do loads with. But we teamed it with jeans from Zara. I've actually customised the back myself because they didn't, unfortunately, fit properly. But we will do an entire video about jeans that fit pear-shaped on it. Yeah. Um, and I also had to get these jeans taken up just because we are so little, we're only 5'2". But um, I love this jumper and I feel like you could do quite a lot with. Basically teamed it up with the exact same jeans, hers yeah. have been white. Um, but yeah, you can do a whole, whole host of stuff with it as well as team it with like chunky boots. Um, yeah, anything. But do you know what? I, I, really, this. I really like this colour. I think it's... It's not an obvious colour that you'd pick in autumn, forward slash winter. However, I just really liked it. I liked the fact that it was different. The only thing I would say is just that I have to constantly keep moving this forward because it does just by nature, I think, not gravity because that pulls you down, but for some reason, just as you're moving, it goes a bit backwards. So that's my only gripe with it. But I think it's really good because it dips in at the waist. So again, anything that accentuates your waist, I think just makes you look a hell of a lot more feminine. I think it's more appealing, just for that alone. Just flattering. These, these jeans I really, really liked. I didn't like the fact that I was wearing white because, as I said, I've been eating. So <laughs> Between the two of us, I think I should have got the blue. I begged for the blue. Mm, but I, but I like it. this colour. But I didn't get it, clearly. Okay. Such is life. Okay. Next up is blue. So I've got a deep royal blue and May's got a turquoise uh, fringe, fringed sweater vest. Sleeveless. So um, that is actually going to feature in Winter Bites as well as Big Knit Energy because <laughs> it's got that big knit <laughs> energy. Mm. But um, okay, so I loved my outfit. 
I actually really love uh, tonal dressing. I love dressing in the same colour, uh, preferably the same shade all in one. I think it's quite chic. And I teamed it up with knee high brown boots. So the knee high brown boots are great for petite women in the sense of they, uh, they, they match my skin tone. So it naturally elongates my height, making me appear a lot taller than I currently am. This jumper i loved it so it's got quite big like you know puffy uh sleeves uh which helped like my frame just because my shoulders are quite narrow and obviously my hips go out so it helped even me out and then it was teamed with a high-waisted mini skirt from um and of stories i love this skirt this is literally my favorite skirt it doesn't honestly look like it does much but it's incredibly structured it goes in at the waist and then it dips out like a typical a-line skirt but for someone of my size and my shape it's been so hard to find a mini dress that just fits and, and sits doesn't move. yeah it does it honestly does not move and it also just sits at the right spot so it's not too short and not too long off as well so i wore this with a black blazer both are from zara and then i wore the leather trousers and what i loved about that was by wearing this jumper, it just absolutely popped against the black. So because of the black blazer and the black trousers, I really, really love that. And also, it's just different. You don't, yeah, I love you don't the traditionally color. find somebody wearing a sweater with fringes. That's turquoise. That's just not a thing. I love it. So I would 100% wear this again. I absolutely love the clash. The, the combination, not an obvious combination for me. Really, really like this. Next up is greens. So, uh, quick fact: green is our favourite colour. Forest green. Yeah, but I still love this. This is nice. Yeah. It's yeah, it's hella bright. Uh, can't miss it. So this is a tracksuit from Zara, and I've got the matching bottoms. Joggers. It's not tracksuit. It's joggers. Oh. I stand corrected. Uh, jogging suit from Zara. I love this. This was so comfortable. Um, I've really struggled to find uh, jogging bottoms that actually fit, just because uh, our waist is so small. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm a 26 and my hips are 50. Fi no, 52. I think 52. Sounds ridiculous. Yeah, sounds ridiculous, but it is weird. Really. Nice. Um, and know. so it's it's just it's just incredibly hard. But these fit really really well. I pair them with a oversized black blazer, and I really like the contrast. Uh, I like the contrast in the dark with the bright. Just pairing the sporty look with a tailored like blazer just instantly makes outfits um, quite chic. Um, quite effortless and incredibly cool. I wore this. It's a Zara jumpsuit, and you guessed it, guys. I was the Joker. So what happened was real life. As we went outside to film this, there was this guy that was walking past, and he yelled out, "What are you, Riddlers?" <laughs> I said, "See, I told you, Linda." He did. I paired this with the black Bottega boots yep. and a black Zara blazer. The same blazer I had. Yes. And that that was really comfortable. Super, super comfortable. The only issue that I have is, repeat it with me, I've been eating. So, <laughs> so for now it's, it's enough for me. But on a normal day, when I'm slimming, yeah. See, I, yeah. do you know what, I, it's, so I originally chose this because I quite like the colour contrast in terms of the green and the black, like I did with the um, jogger set and the black blazer, but in terms of the fit, I just felt it, was, it wasn't it was that great fit in, it didn't mould to the body, um, mm. however, that probably has to do with our proportions, so I guess someone that doesn't have such a small waist in comparison to their hips and their um, bum, might not have the same problem, but yeah, it wasn't like I. It, 
I'm returning this. So next up are blazers. Blazers, I love them. Um, I think they are a wardrobe essential, especially for autumn. They're a great transition from summer to autumn. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously when the weather dips, we live in London, so <laughs> the weather's always dipping. Mm. Um, and just, I guess you can dress them up, you can dress them down, especially during autumn. You can literally team them up with your summer dresses yeah. and add boots and you're good to go. Yeah. So first off, um, my look was with this um, oversized black blazer from Zara. This blazer, I teamed it up with um, a black t-shirt and joggers as well as trainers. Um, I I really love doing that just because it it's like two different looks. Um, it's a little bit more chic when you when you contrast in terms of style, so what with the joggers and the oversized blazer. The joggers, they're new and they're from ASOS. Love them, love the fit. Like honestly, if I could get trousers like them, yeah, I would never ever wear anything else. Um, I love just how high-waisted they are and they literally like cinch in at the waist with the, um, with the drawstrings and the contrast of the bright orange trainers mm. alongside the black blazer with the black top and the grey bottoms I just felt was a really easy cool look that you can do um, anywhere so you can go to brunch, you can go to lunch, go to the cinema with it, really easy to throw on. I wore this amazing blazer, it's so soft as well. I wore this blazer with a white linen shirt, black straight legged jeans, and a pair of black heeled sandals. It was a really, really simplistic look that you could use, work straight through to nighttime uh, drinks and activities. But I, I absolutely love the blazer. I love the colour. What colour would you say this is? Great. Grey. But I feel like it has this. The eyes are. Is it failing me? <laughs> oh, I thought this was it. Like a, I thought this was. It has got like a blue. It has got It has got a navy blue hue. Tint. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a navy blue. Yeah. But it's definitely grey. Yes. Okay. Anyway, I really like it. I love how soft the material is. I love the detail in the gold buttons and they have a crest on them as well. So I think you can pair this with absolutely anything and it dresses it up just for the fact that you're not getting the standard, say, I don't know, uh, black buttons. I think just this alone, the quality, the texture, the fit is really, really lovely as well. I really, really like this. And last is the Big Knit Energy. So this trend, is more so focused on sweater vests. So sweater vests are great because they're really easy to wear and they automatically kind of like zhuzh up an outfit. They even make it quite retro, you know, like Scooby Dooby Doo kind of look and feel, or you know, the quite pre preppy look as well. But also it could be quite this fun. Is Scooby -Doo. Oh, isn't it? Isn't that, <laughs> what's his name? Ziggy. <laughs> Scooby Doo, my guy. Oh, really? Is it Ziggy? I don't even know. Me, I'm not even good with that kind of stuff, but you get what I mean. So, um, I wore a shirt dress alongside this um, sweater vest from Manga, no, from ASOS, sorry. Um, I love this. Like, I literally would never really think to pair brown with pink, mm -hmm. but these colours are amazing. Love them. So, um, for a really simple, kind of classic and easy to wear look, I teamed it with the uh, shirt dress. Um, I guess because of the height of this sweater vest, the way it nips in at the waist, it kind of gave the shirt dress structure. Um, it literally sat where it needed to sit in terms of the waistline and then I teamed it with the knee-high boots just to give it a little bit of a sexy feel. So it was, yeah, it was giving what it needed to give. And I wore this mango fringed, 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 that's it, yeah. jumper with a shirt dress and a pair of chunky boots. Simple, classic, smart, but very cool. 
look. Loved it, super, super comfortable. Really liked the color, it bent. Next up is this gray mixed color sweater vest from Zara. This is new, only got it the other day. Um, I love this just because not many people, I guess, would be, you know, quite bold in wearing the uh, winter brights. So, you know, the bright blues, pinks, yellows, and this is a really nice, like, go-between. Um, it's, yeah, it's a happy medium in terms of still wearing, you know, the traditional winter colours, along with, you know, still being on trend with the blues and the yellow. This was a really nice fit. It's supposed to be a sweater vest, but I would definitely call it more of a top. I wore this mango cream sweater vest with a white linen shirt, the leather trousers and the heeled sandals. That was just a really simplistic, clean look. I really liked the different textures. This is super comfortable, as you would expect. And it, it was just really nice for nipping in again at the waist and just nipping in the entire outfit for me. I really liked it. It's not that much to say, to be honest. It's what you see is what you get. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please, please, please subscribe, like and comment. We will respond to your comments and I hope you really enjoyed it. And we will link all of um, the details for each item below yeah. and possibly alternatives as well just because there are some pieces in there that we have had for a few years now so thanks again guys and we hope to see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>